Hi, I'm Katie Ziskin, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, Connecticut. Hi, I'm Alex Gazzola. I'm LPC and I work at Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, Connecticut. And in this video, we wanted to talk with you about how to have a healthy, connected, committed relationship with your partner. Hi, Karen. And now this is especially important. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> if you are in a long distance relationship where you might not be able to see your partner, cuddle with them, or even have dinner with them every night. So one tip that we'd like to provide is to always have good self care, because if you are trying to get all of your needs met from your partner, it won't work you can give 60% and they can give 40%. Some days they might be giving you 80%, you're giving 20, but you always have to give 100% back to yourself through exercise, um, going to a women's gym in Niantic, going to Zen and Now, or even going to a local yoga class to restore and re-energize yourself. You have to remember that being in a relationship, you are 50% of that relationship and taking care of that 50% is 100% something you need to do. Whether it's nutrition, daily care, remember it is not selfish to take care of yourself. Yes, that's a really good point. I love that how it's like you're going to be able to give more by taking care of yourself. Yeah. Now what's another tip for someone that might really need some support around creating a confident relationship? A really big piece of it is communication. Being able to communicate that you do miss them and it's okay to say, I miss you, I want you to be around, I kind of miss that warmth in the bed next to me or just somebody to talk to about my everyday issues. And while you may have that friend connection, that social support group, you might need that special relationship with your partner and be able to talk about those really intimate things you need to talk about. So talk about those things and don't feel guilty about being able to communicate your needs to your partner. Ooh, I like that one. Being able to talk about when you're miss when missing them, mm -hmm. if you're sad, if you're happy, if there yeah. was a good memory you're <laughs> yeah. remembering, like being able to really communicate yeah. like clearly and share your feelings. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not positive, if there's something going on that's negative, being able to clearly communicate that, being able to say, hey, this is going on. I may need some support in this area. That's huge and important when you're thinking about a relationship because it is two people working together to make a bigger piece happen. Yes, it's so true. And it, I love that piece about two people working together mm -hmm. because both people you know, are making this choice to be committed and choice to go, go do that really important <laughs> yeah. work and loving work. Mm -hmm. Good tip. Yeah. What is one more tip that we could give um, everyone to create a committed, loving partnership, especially maybe if they're long distance? Hmm. That's a good question. What is one? I would say for me, it's making sure that I can socialize. Yes. And because I think it can be isolating yes. if you're someone that has a partner that's um, far away or not with you, or maybe even has mental health concerns, like is depressed at home. And all of your friends are like, oh, let's go out, let's do something with our partners, and your partner is not there. It can be isolating. So I would say get social anyway. Yeah. Go out, be the third wheel, and own it. Enjoy being out with friends, even if you don't have someone there with you. Still get out. You know, make a point to go out with your friends for pizza or for sushi or um, go to a green smoothie bar and really do things that restore you. Mm -hmm. Um, socially so that you know it's you're not putting all of that on your partner um, and then they can also help bring out your best um, so we just wanted to offer you these quick tips to help you improve your family life to help your family find clarity and confidence because when you and your partner are connected your children will also benefit um, so as a group of family therapists we would love to help your child your teen or young adult as well as you, if you're in a, a you know, feeling like you're in a single married relationship, we would love to help you start to feel more connected to yourself and then make a decision um, about where you want to go in terms of your relationship goals for health and wellness. Uh, you can give us a call to get started with a phone consultation. Call us at 860-451-9364. You can also read more about 
Holistic Marriage and Family Therapy in Niantic at Wisdom Within Counseling. Head on over to wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. I'm Katie Ziskind, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling. And I'm Alex Cazola. Thank you for stopping by and watching, and hopefully you've learned something from these little tips. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.